What is impermanent loss in liquidity pools? Imagine you put some tokens into a DeFi liquidity pool, say one ton and one USDT. You're helping others trade and you expect to earn fees as a reward. But here's the catch. If the price of ton changes compared to USDT, the pool automatically rebalances your tokens. You'll end up with a different mix than what you first deposited. For example, suppose one ton and one USDT are each worth $1 when you deposit them, so your deposit total is $2. If ton's price doubles to $2, arbitrage traders will trade with the pool until the pool's token ratio reflects the new price. After rebalancing, your share becomes about 0 0.707 ton and 1.414 USDT. That's a total value of about $2.83 when you withdraw. If instead you had simply held one ton and one USDT outside the pool, their combined value would be $3. The difference, roughly 17 cents or about 5.7%, is the impermanent loss in this case. This difference is called impermanent loss because it's not guaranteed to be permanent. If prices return to where they started, the loss disappears and trading fees you earn can sometimes offset or even outweigh the loss. That's why liquidity providers need to balance rewards with risks. Pools with stablecoins like USDT and USDC usually have much lower impermanent loss than volatile pairs like TON and BTC. In short, impermanent loss is the hidden cost of being a liquidity provider. It doesn't always mean you lose money but it means your final balance may be worth less than simply holding your tokens. Smart liquidity farming means understanding this trade-off. Join the Hippo community and be part of the number one most profitable liquid staking on Ton.